Performance metrics. This is how we measure your performance of the brand. A brand is a driver of your business's value and success. It is therefore critical that you have the analytical tools to gauge your brand's performance. The following are the basics of brand metrics program that will deliver the information you need to effectively guide your business strategy. Measuring brand effectiveness. Calculating the performance of your brand can be tricky as the brand holds tangible and intangible assets. Effectiveness in traditional marketing campaigns and customer value measurements offer no simple answers. Here are a few basic concepts that may assist you in measuring your success. The three P's of brand metrics. Perception, that's relevance, retention, and awareness. Performance, that's trade acceptance, ROI, or return on investment, exposure, and product movement, and profit. These elements measure the intangible aspects of the brand. Prominence, recognition, differentiation, relevance, credibility, likability, purchase intent, and quality. Brand metrics are the measurement of intangible brand value. Brand satisfaction indicators such as preference, awareness, knowledge, familiarity, relevance, and loyalty foretell future purchase intent. The long-term ROI, or return on investment, of marketing programs focusing on improving specific brand metrics criteria may be assigned a financial value. Customer value metrics. Future customer purchase intent is estimated by value analysis surveys and by historical data that may indicate future customer actions concerning retention and pre-purchase rates. Projecting these metrics allow you to estimate the future value of a customer, which may be built into your ROI, or return on investment, of your marketing plan results. Profit metrics measure economic impact, return on investment, and revenue growth. This measures the brand's financial power. Standard accounting practices define a brand's ROI and revenue growth. As such, market share, revenue, operating cash flow, market cap analyst ratings, brand valuation, and ongoing evaluation. Look at each of these three metric categories that provide an overview perspective of the key values within your market segment. Evaluating your brand metrics will enable you to do the following. One, monitor brand performance against customer expectations. Two, monitor brand performance against the competitive set. And three, identify areas of strength, opportunity, threats, and weaknesses. Four, it allows you to focus your brand building efforts in areas of need, evaluating the brand performance. To track and understand the success your brand delivers, you may use performance and perception metrics. Performance metrics uh, measure the brand building activities that deliver hard business results. For example, lifetime value of a typical customer, customer loyalty, price premium, product sell-through, trade acceptance. Uh, perception metrics, on the other hand, measure the intangible aspects of the brand, such as relevance, performance, awareness, position in the customer mind map, customer bonding or pride. Now, 10 areas that demand leadership and focus. Let's take a look at this. As a leader, you want to focus on the following key areas that will deliver and enhance brand value. One, walk in your customer's shoes. Know your core target customer inside and out, psychographically, geographically, and demographically. Mentally walk in their shoes just as the fisherman studies the fish he desires to catch, the brand steward must study and know his own customer. Two, guide your employees. Recognize that every employee in your organization must understand the brand, the benefits associated with a brand-driven business model, and their individual role in delivering on the brand promise. Three, consistently deliver on the brand promise. The set expectations and value a brand delivers becomes the entire experience with your company that many customers perceive. Bring the brand promise to life in everything that you do. Four, be visionary. World-class strategic brand thinking must be brought to bear on market opportunities as they arise. Thinking out of the box will intrigue your customers to make your brand unique and add value to your shareholders. Five, watch your competition. Know your competition inside and out, anticipate their moves. Six, deliver the value. Set up a value analysis study at regular intervals. 
to continually assess your customers' views of your brand versus the competition. A regular basis to understand how you can continue to deliver value is critical. Know your customer, value issues, the basic issues, and the irritations by heart. Seven, set your compass. Get your brand DNA mix to perfection and consistently tweak it over time to meet market challenges. Remember to always sell the product USP and benefits. That's a unique selling proposition. Eight, creative execution. Buy the best creative you can. Don't skip on the packaging and identity for your brand. Bad creative will always cost you sales in the long run and may put you out of business. If you think that good creative is too expensive, ask yourself what bad creative will cost your brand. Nine, manage the brand portfolio and brand architecture. Never stray outside the legitimate turf of your brand mantra with extensions. Never prostitute a brand's equity for short-term gains. Ferraris never go on sale. 10. Set the example. Nothing positive ever happens without leadership from the top. The Net Promoter Score is an effective snapshot of your brand's health from the customer's perspective. It measures the sum of all people who promote your company to others minus those who discourage people from using your company. Customers neutral to your business are not counted. Some systems measure profits as good profits and bad profits where good profits stem from added customer value and bad profits are delivered at the customer's expense. The ultimate question in the end, all metrics measurements are centered on one question. The brand steward needs to ask his customer base, would you recommend our brand to family, friends, and colleagues? Lead the future. The very best of new brands rising from our generation will yield a sliver of bold greatness that will stand the test of time to become the icons of future culture. My intent with these videos is to provide you with the tools and level the playing field to act as a sling to assist the Davids of tomorrow in the battle with the future. Let the secrets of brand DNA and the profit maximization techniques of deep branding provided here become the sandals that take you down the path to future success.